Hey there folks, today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the water level pressure switch on an LG washing machine. Now you may be interested in watching this video if your machine is overflowing, filling with too much water, or if it's not filling with enough water, or if it's not filling with water at all. So we're going to dive into this right away and take the top off of this machine. We're going to show you all about it and how to do it. All right, so first things first, as I just mentioned, you want to disconnect the power, just unplug the unit and pull it away from the wall so you can access the back here. And you're going to remove the two lower screws that hold this top onto the unit. And we're going to use a Phillips head screwdriver for that. All right, now the top of the machine will slide back. Now we're just gonna set that aside gently. All right, so currently you're looking at the machine. This is the front of the machine on the right side and the rear is here on the left. Your pressure switch is right here on the rear of the machine and it's going to be easily removed with a Phillips head screw right there. But first we're going to pinch off our wiring harness right here. Just give this a squeeze and gently pull it out. We'll set that aside and remove this Phillips head screw and take out the switch. All right, so your switch, you'll just twist it to your left and then pop it out. If you look underneath, there's this hose attached to it. We're going to just pop that off. All right, so here is your new pressure switch. Now we're going to put it in the reverse the way we took it out. First off, take the hose and attach it till it's seated as far as it'll go. Then we're going to put this little tab, this indent into this slot right here. You just gotta lift it up slightly, seat it like so and twist it till you're in line. Put your Phillips head screw back into place, just hand tight. And we take our wiring harness here and we put it back in. Just give it a nice light tug, make sure that it's seated properly. Then we're good to put everything back together, get the hood back on. All right, so we're just going to set this into place. and slide it towards the front of the machine. Once it's seated up, we're going to put our two Phillips head screws back into place. And again, just give everything a push that you tighten down, make sure that that is seated properly and you're good to push your back machine back into its home and plug it back in. All right, so hopefully this was helpful to everybody. Hopefully this got all your problems fixed. And as always, please don't forget to like and subscribe.